the world seems to have gone completely crazy and absolutely nuts and we're going to see exactly what i'm talking about in this video but before we get into the video make sure you guys like the video if you enjoy the video subscribe to the youtube channel hit the notification bell so that you get notified when one of my videos come out and let's get into the video taylor hansen with tenant media today i'm at the utah state capitol here at the one and only first pride celebration of the year and uh you know i just had a conversation with some furries and a kid waving a trans flag uh, so there's going to be some very interesting conversations held here today so stay tuned for that we'll see you soon so what brings you out to pride today i'm a queer person and i want to celebrate with folks like me. my son and his wife are part of the community mm -hmm. and we're proud of them and we they have a beautiful daughter i wanted to see the front of the parade and as soon as they get here i'm gonna go with them <laughs> this guy seems too excited and the shirt he's wearing seems very concerned as well but i'll let you guys make your own judgments in the comment section below yo so when i see you got, you know, your Elder Ruber, Church, yeah. church of Latter-day Saints, Jesus Christ. What would you say to people that say, you know, that's kind of a controversial position to take in the church? I don't think it is. I think we're supposed to love everybody. Every person in here is as, person, as important as every person out there. We're just uh, out here demonstrating solidarity with the queer struggle and with the history of the queer struggle, which has always been an anti-war, anti-imperialist, militant struggle. And obviously, you know, with what's going on with the, the U.S.-backed genocide in Palestine, this is a moment where it's so important to kind of call back to that history and link that history to the present moment and how this this struggle the true roots of this struggle have always been in solidarity with national liberation struggles and anti-imperialist anti-genocide struggles like the one happening in Palestine right now I'm from Logan which is way far up about an hour and a half I came out as trans when I was 11 and I like didn't really have a community and so being here I'm 19 now it it really feels really powerful and really impactful and just like being here and just knowing I'm safe and I'm around people that aren't going to judge me is yeah. super amazing and incredible. This person right here is the true final boss of the Rainbow Hair Coalition. This whole rhetoric of people not judging you needs to stop. Every human being on planet Earth judges one another. Whether you judge someone being good or whether you judge someone being bad, we all do it. And I can tell you right now, she definitely judges other people, especially if they don't agree with the things that she believes in. But of course, in today's world people want to reserve the right to judge to themselves they want to be able to judge everyone else while claiming everyone else shouldn't judge them it's a very fraught political landscape lately and i think it's very important to uh, show up with people who have my same life experiences and for the uh, rights and securities that we need to continue to fight for it gets more important as time goes on to reaffirm that we need to be here and uh, we deserve to be here as well i'm just here with some friends and some family. All of us are in the LGBTQ plus community. I'm personally pansexual, but we're just here to kind of celebrate and show our pride. I'm bisexual and gender fluid, and it's actually my first time doing it, and I wanted to experience it. I spend a lot of time around communities that just don't acknowledge and don't accept queer people, and they don't realize that queer people are all around them. Today and this weekend is just kind of the time where I can really just let go and just celebrate who I am. I feel like uh, everybody's the same. That's why I'm here, just to be, because, like, to show that all, all people are loved, even gay people. It's just, like, you should be kind to everybody. I just feel like you should be kind. Like, them, you should be kind to them. Why wouldn't you? They're just normal humans. I want my family and my friends to know that they're okay and they're loved. Once again, another thing that people love to say in today's world, everyone should love everyone and everyone is loved. When the people who say that very saying don't even believe in that saying, because we all know if people disagree with them or people who have committed very heinous crimes we all know these people or people in general don't love those types of people so this whole rhetoric of love everyone and everyone should be loved they don't even believe in it themselves but yet they'll proclaim it because they want everyone to love them while they can hate everyone they want to hate but hey love everyone your kids right here yes this is my family nice. so i am here with the one and only gay jesus what brings you out to pride dress like this today it was inspired by last year i actually bought a costume last year just $15 on Amazon just for fun went to the pride parade it was a huge hit that cheapy costume so I had a custom made one this year that will uh, probably be used for many years to come I'm excited yeah I definitely think it's really important to see all of these sheer numbers and realize how many of us there are in the area and how many there are in Salt Lake it's just powerful to be a part of something this big I know that we're seen people care and they will care a lot more as soon as we can make them 
I'm not sure if everyone heard the last words of the person that just spoke at the end before it switched to the next clip. She just said people will care as soon as we can make them. But I thought these people were about allowing people to be able to do what they want, especially with their own bodies. Yet now I'm hearing her say that they will make people do certain things, which will be a total opposite of allowing people to do what they want. But as I usually say, I am not surprised I hear things like this. Apparently in today's world, love is making people love you. I am a trans man and I've been struggling with school and other stuff and I like pride because it lets me be myself. This is my third pride and I'm fully open and so I just love seeing the community and just being out here representing. We're both members of the LGBT community as well as have many friends and family members who are also a part of the community and it's really important to us to stand in solidarity of those people. Yeah, we've also got some members that either can't make it here or you know, they have other you know, issues that they can't come forward with, so we're just trying to represent them as we come out. I identify as a trans mask. I like he, they pronouns. I'm 19, and I identify as gender fluid and arrowace. I am 19 as well, and I'm a bisexual cisgender female. How old am I? 23. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a um, bisexual cisgender female. I'm also 23. And I'm also <laughs> bisexual cis woman. <laughs> I'm 22 years old, and I am a trans transgender and asexual. I'm 22 years old. I am a trans man and bisexual. I'm 24. I am bigender and ace. I see you got the, the he they pin on. Is that how the how you identify? Yes, I'm a he. I'm a demi, demi boy, trans demi boy. I'm 19. I identify as trans and agender. I'm a demi girl, partially female aligning, partially non-binary. I'm bisexual personally. So what does mask mean when you say trans mask? Trans mask? It means my gender is a little too wiggly to say trans man <laughs> but I feel comfortable being masculine I want to medically transition I know who I'm gonna look like in my future and I want to live in a state that'll give me the ability to become what I want to be pansexual means I like anyone no matter what they identify as gender wise I just like them for who they are, not any pre-standing pre genders. What does this flag in specific mean, though? This is the ace flag. It represents asexuality. Okay. So asexuality, just not being physically attracted to women, men, anything of the sort? Exactly. What does demi boy mean? It means that you go by he, him, they, them pronouns, and you're not a full boy. Can you kind of explain what agender means yes. for me? So I don't feel connected to any gender, and I don't really feel like masculine or feminine feminine or androgynous at all so i just lack a gender i know people who are watching this video are as confused as i am but yes i am very confused and everything that has just been said in this whole video sounded like pure confusion to me and i did not know what the heck was going on what's a time to be alive and what a world we are living in right now you said you know you came out as trans when you were 11 yeah. how did you know when you were 11 years old a lot I of just, people you know yeah. they, they have arguments online yeah, online discourse yeah. saying that you know there's no way children know dudes play with Barbies girls play with Power Rangers things like that what was the leading decision into you actually knowing your identity for sure so for me it was definitely just like I knew I wasn't a girl and I knew I wasn't a dude and my parents were like okay you don't have to be so I like say that but I didn't really start using alternate pronouns or doing any hormone stuff until I was like 15 16 17 so it was a while I think people think it's a lot faster than it is yeah. but I was just like I don't want to do any of that stuff and they were like okay <laughs> yeah. So can you just tell me about your sign that says end the war on trans people? Uh, well, I think uh, trans people deserve basic human rights. You know, I've known a lot of trans people throughout my life and they've talked to me a lot about their own inherent experiences. I simply think that they deserve uh, the human rights to exist freely as they need to. And kind of a follow up on, you know, this side of the sign says honor stone while queers rise up for Palestine. Kind of what you were just speaking on. A lot of the online discourse, you know, people are kind of afraid to get into the nitty gritty of it, right? Not a lot of people want to talk about it. You see, you know, the right kind of saying that, oh, you know, queers wouldn't be welcome in Palestine. It's a Muslim country. You know, they throw them off of roofs. What's your opinion on that? When you see the Queers for Palestine movement, what does that really represent? The reality is that, you know, our movement and this solidarity, building a new future, building a world based on human rights, solidarity, fraternity, and cooperation, it's a scientific movement. It's not an emotional movement. 
So that means that queer people, African people, oppressed people, black people, we all have a vested interest in supporting Palestine. Even if some crazy hypothetical all Palestinian people hated black people, hated African people, hated queer people, we would still have a concrete scientific vested interest in supporting the Palestinian struggle for national liberation because it is inherently a struggle against imperialism. And imperialism is the core root issue in the world today. And when imperialism is weakened, all oppressed, marginalized, exploited people, the whole international working class moves forward and can advance, including the queer liberation movement here in the U.S. and across the world. Obviously, it's not true. There are many queer people in Palestine. Um, there is a lot of solidarity and history of solidarity between the you know Palestinian people and the Palestinian movement and the queer liberation struggle here. So, you know, that's not the case. But the emotional and, and you know, feeling of connection is not the reason that the solidarity should exist. It's the concrete scientific and economic vested interest that we have in overcoming a common enemy and building a new future. This video was a lot of, I don't even know what it was, but yeah, the guy at the end should take up a career in yapping because he was doing a lot of that and he was saying absolutely nothing, but I'm not surprised. But anyway, that was another video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and X at Yinka that guy and I am out.